Women's Super League is back. The Women's Super League starts today and you will be able to follow it every step of the way with The Athletic. As ever, through our dedicated women's football coverage, we will deliver a mix of news and brilliant in-depth features that you do not get anywhere else. After our team of writers, editors, podcasters and videographers coverage of the Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand this summer, it's time for domestic storylines to take their place in the spotlight again. Charlotte Harpa, Katie Wyatt, Chloe Morgan, Michael Cox, Kaumhee O'Neill, Sarah Shepard, and many more, plus our dedicated club reporters, will cover the big narratives on and off the pitch, and take you inside the sport you care about. And if the WSL is not your thing, then there's plenty more women's football from around the world, too, with Meg Linehan and Steph Yang leading our National Women's Soccer League, NWSL, and US Women's Coverage, and Les Cervelo Herrero unpicking the continued chaos in Spanish football. And there's more, our women's football podcast, recorded every Monday, will focus on the biggest stories across the continent from the best of the athletics writers. So, can anyone stop Chelsea from making it five in a row? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Charlotte Harpa, I'm torn between Arsenal and Chelsea. Without the Champions League, Arsenal can dedicate all their attention to the WSL, but the league is Emma Hayes' bread and butter. Although she will have one eye on Europe, Hayes will not want to let the domestic title slip. They have the talent, strength and depth and experience to win again, so I'll go for Chelsea. Chloe Morgan, Arsenal, as they have an added incentive to win it after crashing out of the Champions League. They have made some stellar international signings too, England striker Alessia Russo, World Cup winner Lea Kodina and Sweden defender Amanda Eilstedt. Beth Mead is also back after a long absence with an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Michael Cox, Arsenal will play the best football and Chelsea will somehow as always find a way to grind it out and win the league. Katie Wyatt, Chelsea. It would not shock me if this evolving Arsenal side were to beat Chelsea in some of their head-to-heads, but Chelsea's experience, depth, and consistency will get the job done again.